Station after police agreed not to charge them. It's the second time in a week the pair has pulled off a dangerous stunt to raise awareness about the plights of refugees. As the city slept, two women scaled one of Melbourne's most prominent landmarks, the 162-metre Arts Centre Spire. Their aim is to get the message out, and we know that many people in Australia are now listening to that message. That message reinforced with the unveiling of a banner protesting the deportation of 267 asylum seekers to Nauru. We would argue that the government has a duty of care not to send them back to danger. It's the second high-profile protest for pair Catherine Waskett and Hannah Patchett, who abseiled off the Yarra Bend overpass last week. Police attempted to negotiate with the women, but their phone calls were ignored for hours. Although the pair are professional climbers, police were concerned for their safety. Well, there's real concerns for their safety. They are experienced climbers, we acknowledge that, but uh, due to their, the elements and being outside and so far up, obviously there's going to be some uh, risks. Finally, after 12 hours, the women struck a deal with police, agreeing to come down freely on the proviso they keep their equipment and avoid all criminal charges. The women refused to speak with media, but many people watching were vocal with support for the cause. Personally, I think we should let them stay. I support these ladies, yes. They're welcome to demonstrate their view, but do it in an area where it's not costing other people time and money. The spire vacant once again, although today's message remains. Christy May.